how fast can you go through that list? Here's a nugget if you're cold calling or if you're texting. So this is super important if you're going to be doing either of those things. If you are using a dialer, what is a dialer? A dialer is an automated calling system. That's something like batch dialer, call tools, Zen call. There's a lot of different dialing systems out there. But if you're going to be using a dialing system to call through a list, if you're using a dialer that's calling through multiple lines at a time, you should be able to call through 800 to 1,000 records in a, in a six to eight hour day. Like our virtual assistants at startvirtual.com, for example, when they're cold calling, they'll call through 800 to 1,000 records in a six to eight hour day. And in that day, they'll typically get connected on the phone with about 100 to 120 people. Does not mean that those were all leads, right? You know, out of those 100, 120 connects that they get in the day, I'm hopeful that they can get somewhere between one to three leads a day. I'm happy to get one at least every day. I'm ecstatic if I get two to three leads or more in a day. This is, you know, a recommendation that I give people is if you're going to have a virtual assistant calling for a month or whether it's you calling every day for a month, you want to have at least 5,000 records. I know you're thinking, Cody, well, if you can call through a thousand in a day, how is it going to last you a month? Because this is what you're going to do with those records. In a week, you're going to call through the entire list of 5,000 records. So every week for the month that you're calling through that list of data, you want to then be recycling that data. So what the heck does that mean? Cody. Well, that means basically from all the people that you called over like that five, the first five day period, that first week, you're going to, you know, remove out any of the do not calls. You're going to remove out any that turned into leads. Obviously you don't want to call them again. If you already have them in as a lead in your Excel or whatever you're using for your CRM, you're going to recycle it for all the people that did not answer the phone out of those 5,000 records that were called. And you're going to call through it again. And then you're going to do it again and do it again. You can do that four to six times with one list of 5,000 records that'll last you about a month before you really need to pull another list. A list of 5,000 records could be equated to kind of like a sponge where like the first time you kind of do a little bit of a, of a squeeze, like, you know, a lot of water is going to drop out of the sponge, right? Where it wasn't that hard that first time that you did that. But then like week two, you squeeze the sponge a little bit harder and it's like, you know, it's a little bit harder to get liquid to come out of there. By the time you're squeezing it for the third, fourth, fifth time without getting fresh water on there, you're going to be like, you know, straining to get anything to come out of it. So like, that's what happens after you've recycled a list, you know, four, five, six times, you still want to do it those four or five times, you know, up to six times based on, you know, how good the list is performing for you. It's super important to know that you have to know what you're looking to get, because that's one of the biggest things that I see people making the mistake of is I see clients like at Start Virtual, for example, they'll have, you know, 5,000 records, and then they expect that to last for like two months with their one virtual assistant and they're confused on why they're not taking over the world with one 5,000 record list. You gotta have the right amount of data.